Congratulations to Lauren Opal Bobart on winning tonight's highly competitive Biggest Hypocrite in Congress Award. And thoughts and prayers to the handful of members who didn't get an honorable mention. I want to say a few words about the winner. And don't worry, Lauren. I'm not going to try to embarrass you by mentioning all your unseemly scandals like I have that kind of time. For example, I won't bring up you not paying taxes on your shuttered saloon or shamelessly cheating on your campaign gas mileage reimbursements by claiming to have driven 39,000 miles in one year. Guess you didn't know that would be the equivalent of driving around the equator over one and a half times, which you would never do. Because you probably think the world is flat, and I'm certainly not going to get into how you applied that illegal payment of reimbursements to your illegal non-payment of taxes, because that's none of my business. It's between you and God and the House Ethics Committee, and the IRS, and your local DA. Yes, I could mention your husband's arrest for flashing his tattooed at an underage girl in a bowling alley, or your three arrests for, well, you can regale us with them later. Oh, or that time in August when your neighbors called 911 because an angry drunk, the guy with the tattooed penis, had driven his pickup over their mailbox that neighbor said you were also loaded. Loaded parents in a house full of loaded guns. What could go wrong, Lauren? But it's not mine to judge. I'm kidding. I'm judging you. Well, I'm not judging you. It's called Christian multitasking. Sort of like the Christian multitasking you did when you scolded other women for having sex outside of marriage after you allegedly worked as an escort. Now, as I quickly reassured Melania, I'm not shaming sex workers. Anyone who's seen Ted Cruz naked has already suffered enough. Yes, the allegation is that you met Ted in a professional capacity. Now, who would have guessed that Ted Cruz has to pay women to have sex with him? <laughs> Everyone. Like you, Lauren, Ted is known for wearing his Christianity on his sleeve. Please. Reassure me that he's also known for wearing his condom on his you-know-what. I'm not willing to make an abortion exception to save mothers, but I am willing to carve one out to save humanity from the toxic co-mingling of Bobart and Cruz DNA. Speaking of, the other allegation that came out is that you had two abortions. Still no word on whether Herschel Walker paid for either. As I recall, you promised to sue the pack behind these allegations immediately. Yeah, that was way back in June of 2022. I'm guessing a lawyer told you there is one absolute defense to libel. Truth. Which, in fairness, is probably a difficult word for you to get your head around. But you learned from Donald that one can deny any truth on social media. Just don't do it under oath. The other thing you learned from Donald is that Republicans say their favorite amendment is the second, but it's really the fifth. And speaking of avoiding self-incrimination, Ted Cruz, who usually never shuts up, has yet to say a word about the colorful allegations about how he picked you up. But I bet he was quick to pick up the phone to say one word to you. Discovery. Something you're about to learn a whole lot more about. As I hear that same pack has now sued you and said they have receipts. So friends, why is it that Lauren Bobart is so richly deserving of tonight's award? Well, I'm fixing to tell you. Lauren is a no exceptions for abortion gal who made two exceptions of her own. Lauren is an anti-socialist gal who claims she survived on government welfare. Lauren is a pro-capitalist and pro-business gal whose capitalist businesses all lost money and closed. Lauren is an I honor Jesus with every beat of my heart gal who dishonors him with every bleat of her mouth. Lauren is an anti-health care from the government gal who gets her health care from the government. Lauren is an anti-grooming children gal who groomed her children to pose with firearms in the thematically questionable Christmas card.
Lauren is a religious freedom gal who falsely calls co-workers terrorists simply for being Muslim, but helped Trump plot with real domestic terrorists because they were Christians. Lauren is a the federal government doesn't work gal who works for the federal government. Lauren is a constitution defending gal who wants to destroy the First Amendment separation of church and state. Lauren is a shame other women about their choices gal who voluntarily made the shameful choice to climb under Ted Cruz. <laughs> some might call that being the biggest hypocrite in Congress, and by some, I mean Jesus. Yes, being a so-called hypocrite really annoys the libs, which makes being one a good thing. Sorry, Jesus. Because what's the one thing conservative Christians love far more than following Jesus, not following him to own the libs. So congratulations, Lauren. This prestigious award may not make you a good Christian, but it makes you an exemplary Republican. Glory.